What's up, YouTube? This is your boy JD, and today is March 9th. I'm somewhat excited today because two weeks from today, March 23rd, will be the one year anniversary that me and my son, The Gaming Sensation 91, uh, started our channel. So I'm kind of excited. Um, I got with my son today to see if we can do a live stream not on the 23rd of our anniversary but on the 24th so hopefully we'll be able to do a live stream together and play NBA 2K18 because remember if some of you have saw our first ever live stream that we did together when I went to North Carolina um, I beat him <laughs> so my son said he's going to drop drop the ham on me uh, when we do play together, so take a look out for that. We'll do our second live stream. It won't be a, a facial live stream. It'll just you'll hear our voices on hopefully on March 24th. So right now I'm about to play NBA 2K18, play get my revenge on the Milwaukee Bucks because the last time I played them they beat beat me by 10. So I'm kind of ticked off about that, especially going up against. Oh, God, I'm trying to pronounce this dude's name. Giannis Antetokounmpo. I guess I got to go Wakanda on him to, to get it right. So, Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's how you pronounce his name. But don't don't think I'm going to keep saying his name again because I'll, I'll jack it up. So, I just say Giannis A. So, take out the live. Uh, well, not the live. Take out the gameplay I'm about to do against the Milwaukee Bucks. And please, please, please. Hit that like button, people. Come on now. It's not that hard. It's free. Just hit that thumbs up. All right, let's get to it. Fascinating stuff, DA. Thank you so much. What better way to learn from your mistakes? With the All-Star game approaching ever so closer, I have to ask you, Clark, how much is the All-Star game talked about among the players? I don't think it's talked about a ton. I mean, I played on teams that didn't have many All-Stars in the early 80s. Um, guys that were good players, but not in All-Star consideration. I imagine for teams that have multiple all-stars it might come up but there's so much work to be doing prior to that that I think that takes most of the conversation all right let's set the floor courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go and Milwaukee looking at who they've got all the big bucks up front Giannis Parker and Maker Smith is out there at Curry pass to Frazier right side this is to Mitchell then Mitchell with the dunk. Well, and he breaks out the tomahawk. No soft finish there. Pure power. Oh, we can feel that one all the way over here. Yeah, great aggressive move to the bucket there. He wasn't about to pass that one up. He threw it down. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. Innovation and improvisation right there, Greg. Finding a way to get that shot to fall after taking the contact. Now with Whiteside, no matter what he is doing, he is always setting the tone the way he goes about defending the rim. It's like he's taking it personally that these guys are not going to score on. And you know what? He's a tone setter defensively. He gives his group confidence when he's on the floor. And, you know, teams are starting to realize you simply do not go at Whiteside. The block numbers might be down, but his defensive impact is as high as ever. Three-pointer. Second shot opportunity. A rebound by the Bucks. Last time they met was in Milwaukee. And, and once they established that flow offensively, really never got any resistance from the D. And you know, Greg, they were sinking shots left and right, and that's got to be demoralizing for the defense. They were in a real zone. And Anderson kicks to White side. It's so about it's a Kumbo. Here's Smith. Pass to Andre Takumbo. Nice shot by Smith. And you know, whenever Smith gets that close to the bucket, he's sharp in how he finishes these chances. I mean, he's got a lot of different ways to get that ball up and down. Here's Mitchell. Another miss by Utah. Bucks have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Maker, Gobert with the block. From 15 feet away. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. 
Gobert's got his first basket of the night. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Here's Parker, and Whiteside sends it back. Fast break, here come the Jazz. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And the amount of space Antetokounmpo covers is really breathtaking. You got to see it to believe it. I mean, he erases shots that you think he has no chance to get to. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Curry wide open. Great positioning on the putback. Maker's got his second bucket of the game to go. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. And the three off target. Jazz trail by four. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Hands it from downtown. Frazier's got himself on the board with three there. For Milwaukee, they've gone just a shade under 50% of the field. Five of 11. Smith kicks to Onda Takumba. Knocks it loose. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. And a look here at the passing numbers over the last several months for Onda Takumbo. One aspect of his game that's suffered the past few months has been his passing. He hasn't shown that same creativity with the basketball that we'd seen from him earlier in the season and his assists are way down because of it. Parker. That one no good. And as Utah the other way they come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. They executed on the road. Stay focused. Stay consistent with who you are as a team. I love that Greg. You got to do that away from home. It shows how connected they are with one another playing that way and excellent chemistry. And you look at the Bucks in this roster, and the one constant at every position, length. I mean, great height and wingspan. Giannis and Maker, just to name a few. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its backcourt, that can really rally and galvanize the whole squad. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Henson checked in for Maker. Collins comes in for Jabari Parker. And Middleton subbed in for Seth Curry. Henson the pass to Smith. Shoots over Frazier. And that one off the back of the rim and in. And when so much of the NBA is trying to capitalize Greg on small ball, the Bucks said they're going to go for tall ball if they can make it work. <laughs> and what the length and height gives the Bucks is a, a few things. One, you get matchup advantages at least at a few positions on the floor. Great coverage in the passing lanes. And remember now, the game, the half court is much bigger because of the impact of the three-point shot. You need size, skill, and activity to be able to guard that far from the basket. Smith gets to Collins. Dishes to Antetokounmpo. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And Antetokounmpo really, you know, building on his shooting. That's impressive to see. No way the defense catches up to him when he's rising up right after he gets the pass. No way. All alone. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got his third rebound tonight. Kicks it to Gobert. Fires it up. And Henson sends it back. Hey, that reach of Henson, remarkably long, unbelievably long. And that allows him to wipe away shots effectively. Good job putting the pass in front of him. Throw it where he's supposed to be, not where he is. Paving the way right to the bucket. Here's Mitchell. Good. Great play set up by Frazier. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. The pass to Collins. There's the screen. Feeds it to Antetokounmpo. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. That's smothering defense. Chicken and gravy defense. Not giving him an inch there. That's how you guard the inside. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. 
Boy, he's having a tough time right now. Seems like he's forcing his shot a bit to me, Kevin, not letting it come in the flow of the game. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And how about the power of Antetokounmpo? Dynamite whenever he takes it to the rim. Anderson the screen. Pass to Mitchell. To the paint. Looking for Gobert. He gets it there. And Henson sends it back. Frazier against Smith. Outside, out of the Kumbo. He feeds it to Collins. There's the double team from Whiteside. It's stolen by Frazier. And it's Whiteside off the drive. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. The Jazz shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the first one at the line is good. You know, guys, you've got to give much respect to the length of Whiteside. I mean, he's a hawking seven-footer who takes a lot of pride in being the defensive anchor for this team. The Jazz making a switch here. Neto's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Curry's checked in for Antetokounmpo. And he makes both free throws. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Smith kicks to Collins. Here's the screen. There's the feed to Middleton. Stolen by Anderson. Here's Neto. And Henson sends it back. Yeah, they got that one. But early on, it's, it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. And because it's still early, I wouldn't read too much into it. There's still a lot of That's game great. left. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. And that's a tough one, but on those illegal screen calls, the defender's never going to get the benefit of the doubt. Those are facts, man. I mean, if he's sliding his feet just a skosh, the refs are going to whistle him for it. Here's Mitchell. And so the ball out of bounds. Henson touched it last. Second quarter will be on the way when we come back. Utah shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Smith is out there at Curry. Then it's Jeff Withy. Then it's Chris Middleton. And it's Henson in at the four shot. Boy, nice to see Anderson finishing with power. A lot of strength there leaves no room for error with those throwdowns. And there's a whistle. That goes on Neto. That's his first foul. And what an advantage it is for players in the Bucks to be able to pick the brain of coach Jason Kidd. Kidd is a player who found success in so many formats, under so many schemes, under many coaches, from winning NBA titles as well as international titles when he played the game. I don't know how much more I can embellish that, but you're right, Kevin. There's a lot to be learned from old number five. I mean, Kidd has also shown a knack for imparting his knowledge, which is rich and deep, to his guards. And when you've got a young team, like the Bucks are to have a coach with kids experience and IQ man what a blessing for those guys and the shot is good the Utah lead has been cut back down to two points on the basket from Henson and Henson very aware of his surroundings knowing the defense can't block his shot when he's this close to the bucket takes his time and makes it happen and guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. And that's an example of willpower right there, guys. I mean, grabbing the offensive rebound and then going back up strong. And G.A. in a close game like this where every possession is critical, that could prove to be a very big mm -hmm. one. Boy, it sure could, Kevin. I mean, he salvaged two big points for them off that miss. The offensive rebound, Curry. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Utah leading by four. Neto, the pass to Mitchell. And it's Mitchell with the jam. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says, thank you very much, and sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. 
And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Jazz. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight reel plays in transition. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. Clark, a lot of former players had a specific instance when they knew they were special, the way they played the game of basketball. Did you ever have a moment like that where you realized that you could make it as a player? Yeah, there was a time when that became more realistic to me, Kevin. And I grew up in Cleveland, and during the summers, a lot of the Cleveland Cavaliers would stay in the area and play pickup basketball to stay in shape. And I got a chance to bump heads with a lot of those guys, Jim Jones and the late Terry Furlow, Austin Carr, Bingo Smith, Mike Mitchell. And I was only 15, 16 years old. And while those guys were going at half speed, it gave me the encouragement that I might be able to get to where they were if I continued to work hard and stay healthy. So at 15 or 16, during one of those summers, I began to realize that I might have a chance to realize the dream of being an NBA. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. Here's the screen. Back to Middleton. From deep three-point range, score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. The long-range marksmanship of Middleton cannot be dismissed or forgotten. I mean, even when he's pulling from way outside, he's very capable of making those shots. Now here's Matt, defended by Middleton. Nice shot by Gobert. Boy, good job firing the pass inside there. I mean, all his teammate had to do was catch and finish. Middleton on the wing. Withy dishes to Middleton. Over Mack. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Middleton's got five points now this quarter. Yeah, you know, when you shoot the ball as well as Middleton does, you want to be hungry and looking for your shot. I mean, shot hungry is a good thing when you've got the stroke that he has mid-range and long distance. The finish. Henson shot is off. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. For Utah, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Howard's checked in for Utah. Kyle O'Quinn comes in for Raul Neto, and then for Milwaukee. Thon Makers checked in for Jeff Withy. Collins comes in for John Henson. And Giannis Antetokounmpo is subbed in for Chris Middleton. Bucks trail by six. Curry kicks to Onda Tagumbo, takes the 13-footer, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists now in this one. Covington in the corner. Boom, he jams it straight down. Man, I like to see Covington get aggressive in the paint, sending a message to the defense with that dunk. Played his college basketball at Duke. Seth Curry has really emerged as a solid NBA player, even though he was undrafted. A combo guard, he makes shots and he makes plays. And Seth Curry, much more of a shooter than he is a passer. We'll see if he can make the transition to point guard that his brother did. I mean, in the meantime, his 6 2 height leaves him something of a disadvantage against bigger shooting guards, but I tell you what. This young man is impressed with his ability to, to be a solid NBA guard. And we watch Giannis out there. He just looked unstoppable, Greg, at times. The way he's able to attack the rim, the blend of size, uh, speed, and length is just unparalleled in the NBA. And it's the movement that throws you off with Giannis. One step, and, and he's gone from the three line to the rim. There isn't any way to stop someone that skilled who's that big. Howard with it, now guarded by Maker. Howard, the pass to Jackson. They set the pick. Hits the three-point bomb. Jackson's got the lead up to six now for Utah. It really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. Screen by Parker. Bucks passing it around. Maker with a screen for Curry. Five on the clock. Maker misses. Utah leading by six. 
Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. With this break, we have a chance to break down where the assist has been coming from tonight between the front and backcourt for Utah. This backcourt is really shouldering the load in terms of the ball movement and great assists. When you look at the overall contributions compared to the bigs, nice work on distributing the ball. Ande Takumbo takes the elbow jumper and trains it. Ande Takumbo's got 15. Utah has gone one of two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. In the corner of Quinn with it. A three. Rebounded by Maker. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Parker. Utah with the rebound. And they're off to Philadelphia after this game as they'll take on the 76ers. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. And it's good. Two points. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Yeah, and it should help them increase their separation here. I mean, this has been an impressive offensive output. It's good. And that's 17 points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And good passing setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Dime-dropping delights is what I call it. Right, that is a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, who's on the money? That's no doubt. Deflects the pass. Here's Maker, and it's sent back by Howard. And Howard takes his shot blocking very seriously, skying up and sending him back with his impressive burden. Mag dishes to Howard. Rebounded by the Bucks. Maker's got three rebounds so far in the game. Collins kicks to Onda Takumba. Parker left side. Shoots over Covington and off the left side of the rim and it swirls in for him. And he's just such a smart shooter as Parker. Noticing the defense was backing off of him just a little too much. He took advantage of it and made him pay dearly. And they've done a great job knocking down those long-range shots here in the second, shooting just over 40% from downtown. There's a screen. Collins passes it to Onda Takumbo. Oh, he misses the dunk. Yeah, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. Maker. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Utah leading by three. Jonas Yurepko out there with Kyle O'Quinn. Then it's Jefferson. Then there's Frazier. And it's Howard in at the center filling out the middle. That's the group starting the second half for Quinn Snyder. Smith with it. He kicks to Parker. Outside Curry over Jefferson. And Curry the bucket on the assist by Parker. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. I love that mid-range shot, Greg. It's definitely given the defender something extra to think about. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Did a good job guarding the mid-range. Extended out nicely and definitely bothered the shot. A really good rebound in traffic. That's what the big fella's there for. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. With a break in the action, let's go to the 2K leaderboard for a look at this season's stingiest defensive teams. The fourth spot held by the Jazz. I mean, terrific rim protection. I mean, they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody. And, of course, you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots, and that continues to be the goal. That's good offense. The shot didn't go down, but they'll live with that. Outside Jefferson. Picked by O'Quinn. Jefferson kicks to O'Quinn. Curry against Jefferson. Here's Smith. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Smith's got six points. You know, every time Smith gets some breathing room from the mid-range area, he's really comfortable letting that shot go. The defense has to get in his face. Well, that shot's going up. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Boy, like his intensity, Greg. He's not afraid to take it straight to the rack on the bigger defender. Right at it. Robert Covington's checked in for Utah. Chris Middleton's checked in for Milwaukee. Frazier against Smith. Middleton outside. 
Back to Smith. They set the pick. Like at six. Maker. No one around him. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. And that's now seven points for Thon Maker. Well, Thon Maker is a project player, Clark, for his team, taken 10th overall in the 2016 draft. Has great size, and he moves well, but it's going to be a few years before he gets to where he needs to be. I agree with you, but with big guys, you can afford to be patient when you see that they have a work ethic and a commitment to getting better, are willing to learn and grow, and then you factor in his athleticism and size. I think it's a weight that's going to pay big dividends for the Bucks. The Bucks making a switch here. Withy's checked in. Middleton dishes to Maker. And stolen by Howard. It's stolen by Maker. Basket good. He's got 11. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Here's Covington. It's deflected. Now the Bucks moving it up. Middleton against Covington. Middleton the pass to Smith. There's the dish to with it. Shot clock at five. Middleton up top. Offline with his three. Jazz trail by three. And O'Quinn kicks to Howard. Here's your rep go. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Milwaukee's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Watch out below when Middleton rises up like that. Remarkable at punching it down on him. And the first time out of the game. See, this was burns me. The AI coach won't put out, he won't sit down the bench players. So you see, you can clearly see the bench cannot hold the players that's playing on the Milwaukee Bucks and put out the starters that was given the Bucks issues at the beginning of the game. Now it finally put out during starters. Let's see how it goes. Oftentimes it's a matter of how much do you work at it and how soon do you start working at it. A lot of times big guys tend to focus on their post moves and scoring the ball close to the bucket and not as much as shooting. But you're seeing more and more big guys with sweet strokes, and I think it's a matter of, again, basic fundamentals, mechanics, and then putting in hours and hours and hours of working. Another miss by Middleton. Jazz trail by five. Mitchell, this is to Howard, and the shot goes in. And you really have to toe that line with the physicality just to prevent Howard from the end one. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. You know, I thought maybe they'd cool off a bit at halftime, but they've continued to bury the jump shot. They've also been pounding it inside tonight and coming away with a lot of points in the paint. I call those PIPs. Ooh. That's how you attack. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> How <laughs> oh about the flash by Anta Tacumpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. The Bucks have gone 7 of 11, a lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Withy, no good. Jazz have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight, and it's Mitchell with the jam. They are still commanding a lot of defensive attention. Howard just keeps his head up and finds the open man. It's out of the combo on the wing. He dishes it to Withy. Out to the combo against Covington. And Henson kicks to Smith. Withy. Henson and Smith with the assist that time. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Here's Mitchell, and again it's Utah. And just enough wiggle room to get off his shot. Yeah, I like the quick release, Greg. He does a nice job getting it up quickly, especially when he's facing a bigger defender. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And one of the things I love about Chris Middleton is his decision-making. You know, he doesn't force shots or passes when he has the ball. And 
just lets the play develop. And that's why coaches trust him so much. And Middleton, the former second-round pick now, has put a lot of work in on his game. I mean, a ton of work. Really carving out a nice spot in the lead as a result of his hard work. Here's what Utah's going with right now. Anderson comes in for Robert Covington. And it's Jackson in for Frazier. And with Middleton and his decision-making, it's true for both his scoring and his passing. For the amount he facilitates, he, he has great efficiency. Low turnovers, solid field goal percentage, and his passing gets better every year. Smith kicks to Collins. There's a minute 47 left in the third quarter. Middleton for three. Offensive rebound. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The lead can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. Here's Collins. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Collins has got his first bucket in this one. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Jackson kicks to your up goal. We've got 108 left in the third quarter. Here's Collins. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Really left alone that time. And that's 21 points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Here's your repco. It's tipped. Antetokounmpo up top. He's got 21. And, you know, we continue to see out of the Kumpo shoulder more of the load, a remarkable offensive play. Utah calls timeout. Yeah, Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that huddle. They've got to tighten it up. Different look for Utah. Rudy Gobert comes in for Dwight Howard. And Whiteson subbed in for Yurebko. And then for Milwaukee. Thon Makers checked in for Hanson. Jabari Parker comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Seth Curry in for Smith. Jackson kicks to Anderson. Pass to Gobert. Plays it in without an inch of room around him. Gobert's got 10. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. that They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Passes it to Collins. Parker against Anderson. Parker kicks to Maker. He got right to the cup using that screen. Maker's got the lead up to six now for the Bucks. Phenomenal court vision by Parker. He really has all the tools to be a great player in this league. And so it's Milwaukee with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. Milwaukee leading by six on the court for the Bucks. Antetokounmpo and Parker are the wing. Collins is out there with Maker, and it's Curry in at the point. Dishes it to Maker. Parker against Anderson. Six to shoot. Parker kicks to Collins. Outside Curry. The maker and stolen by Whiteside. It's three on three on the fast break. Fires it up and Maker sends it back and good that time. Whiteside's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Utah and for Milwaukee. They're shooting it pretty well, close to 50 percent. Curry on the wing, guarded by Jackson. Off the screen, rebound Utah. Gobert's got his sixth rebound on the night. Gobert with a screen for Anderson. Gobert can't hit. Allowing no space for the shooter to get comfortable. Just terrific defense. Yeah, e excellent extension on the block. Superb timing as well to swat that one away. Jackson passes to Mitchell. 
kicks it to Anderson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Man, got to like the confidence of Anderson inside, showing excellent patience and a nice soft touch near the rim. Outside, out of the Kumbo. The pass to Parker. Six on the shot clock. From 13, good on the jump shot. And the Bucks lead by six. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Well, when you knock down jumpers like that, it opens everything else up as well. Mitchell dishes to Whiteside. Connects in the foul on jumper. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. Maker with a screen for Curl. Bear with the block. Here's Mitchell and the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Here's Collins. Yep, that one goes. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. Here's Jackson. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. It's deflected. Curry against Jackson. Here's Maker. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. And now an eight-point Bucks lead. Outside Jackson. Feeds to Mitchell. There's the triple and the rejection by Under the Kumbo. Here's Collins. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Timeout, timeout. Curry's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Uh, fruitful possession. Just doing what they can to extend the lead. Yeah, that's tremendous efficiency there. I mean, you like seeing them put together these types of plays. Max checked in for Jackson. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Smith checked in for Collins. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. We've got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. And there's the foul. It'll go on Shelvin Mack. That is his first foul of the game. Chris Middleton's checked in for Curry. So it's the Bucks now. Parker kicks to Middleton. Smith, the pass to Maker. Nice ball movement by Noah. And Ante Tacumbo slams it in. Absolutely awesome to watch Ante Tacumbo rise up for these throwdowns. I mean, it's really quite easy for him. Now here's Matt. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Smith outside. Smith drawn the double team. Parker against Whiteside. He used that pick to perfection. And now it's a 12-point Milwaukee lead. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Smith outside. Middleton outside. His three pointers off the mark. And, you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it, but it just has not been there for him tonight. You, you might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. Mitchell dishes to Gobert. Here's Mack. Good on the three point shot. Max got it back down to a single digit deficit for Utah. Uh, against Wimp, he does a nice job of creating just enough separation. Yeah, he's so creative with the ball and his ability to shake free from bigger guys to knock down those triples. Boy, that's a thing of beauty there. Pass to Mitchell. And Utah again with the bucket. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Middleton with a screen for Smith. He feeds it to Middleton. He kicks to Antetokounmpo. 
an easy two points on the layup. Onto Takumbo's got 10 points here in the second half. Excellent awareness from Onto Takumbo, sensing the chance to impose his will inside and then capitalizing really easy. And with that, the Bucks leaders cut back down to seven after the points coming from Rudy Gobert. Now here is Smith. He's tightly guarded. 13 feet away. And Onto Takumbo with the basket on the assist by Middleton. And that's now 29 points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. 129 left in the fourth. Here's Matt using his post moves to get the two points. 122 left in the game. And Smith gets double team. the Jazz now. Jazz trail by seven. And at a certain point, there's just nothing more you can do. This is it. This one's over, folks. Too little, too late. Not good. And you can sense things now starting to tighten up. Their offense has become unstoppable. And Greg, I'm not quite sure why it took them as long as it did to finally get things going, but as we always say, better late than never. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. Frazier, he's checked in for Matt. Middleton, a screen on Frazier. Smith kicks to Middleton. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. And the Bucks lead by seven. Middleton really is an amazing shooter. Absolutely amazing. Especially from long distance. Smith against Frazier. The feed to Mitchell. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. And he slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He spent a while up in that rim, didn't he? Yeah, you know, the, the refs are much more lenient with that kind of situation than they used to be. Here's Smith. We've got 33 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And now we've got the intentional foul. Drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And, you know, Smith, the former Demon Deacon, he's a savvy veteran who's passing and shooting really can frustrate opponents. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit. And with the time remaining, I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, it would take a miracle for them to come back, in my mind, like Tracy McGrady against the Spurs type of heroics. A lot of points and a little bit of time. On to Dekumbo against Anderson. Now, here's Ande de Kumbo, guarded closer, and the call will be against Justin Anderson. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. He hits the first one, and that stretches their lead to eight. You know, when it comes to versatility, the Greek freak, Giannis, is one of the very best in the league. I mean, his shooting, ball handling, and defense are really otherworldly. And so the Bucks take the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway. Well, I'm so pissed. It's not even freaking good funny. It doesn't it make any sense. How that dude just keeps killing me. I even had him in foul trouble. He's still outplayed me. Freaking Giannis, whatever the freak his last name is, kept killing me. And then the AI coach, what really ticked me off the most, he wouldn't. Is sit down the bench players you who was jacking up and put out the starters who was giving Giannis the two uh, 
you know, Giannis A issue. So, really, I didn't lose the game the darn AI coach unless I had to intervene and make the darn switches and whatever. I'm so tight. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that like button. I hope you enjoyed the comedy of me getting my behind with by one freaking player. Giannis, what? However you pronounce that dude's name. Bye.